I think about my career and what I've done, you know, here and there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Mike Evans. Mike Evans. Mike Evans. But it is hard to put everything into perspective while I'm still in it because there's so much things I got to chase. Here's Evans into the open field. There's that one-handed catch. What a grab. This will always be one of my homes, Tampa Bay. And uh, I'll always love this place, no matter what. Please join me in welcoming Mike Evans to the stage. We heard y'all been working extremely hard in the classroom and in athletics. I'm a big fan. Uh, Kate, man, I appreciate that. And thank y'all so much for your continued support. I want to play as long as possible, as long as I'm healthy, as long as I still have a passion to play. Ten straight years, over a thousand yards. How bad we want this, man? I do feel like I got some good years left, but we never know. I remember being a kid and grown-ups, you know, want to play sports with us or whatever it was, be interactive. And I always appreciated that as a kid. <laughs> being around, especially an adult male, uh, cause you know, I lost my father very early on. And when a, you know, grown-up was spending his time, you know, trying to teach us things, life lessons, and really physically interact with us. Um, I always appreciated that. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I feel like it's hard to be fake, especially for a guy like me like that. Being fake, it's, it like makes you cringy. It like it, it makes you cringe. You know, I'm not good at going up and just giving a speech, like a rah-rah speech or anything like that, but if it's hands-on, just getting really involved, then, you know, that's more of my forte. My agent, Derek Gilmore, had the idea because he followed the middle school rules and Sean Jensen, the author, and they reached out to me in being one of the, you know, the guys that they would write about. And, uh, you know, I agreed to it after a few years of, you know, having the offer. And, uh, you know, I met Sean. Um, he's a great guy, great author. And I always wanted to be able to give back, be, be able to, you know, be a professional athlete and, and be able to give back. Come on, let me, come on, let me. What's up, man? You got the same name as me. Yeah. That's my name, dude. They call you Big Mike? Yeah, yeah man. All right, Big Mike. Big Mike. All right, Prince, no problem, man. <laughs> Middle school Mike Evans was a kid that wanted to learn, immature, just seeing the road that, you know, helped me get to this point. Everything was very nostalgic for me. Uh, I love my city, love my hometown, uh, love the, my friends and family. All right, Bob Mark. Yes, sir. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. It's a good read. I mean, middle school, I was just doing a lot of bad things I shouldn't have been doing. But that's why we live and learn. That's why I wanted to put all those things in the book, uh, the good and the bad, because, you know, nobody's life is perfect. And those things help make me the man I am today, uh, the good and the bad. What's up, man? Good. How you doing? I mean, I've been a, a Bucks fan for, um, since I was three. Since you was three? Yeah. My mom watched it all the time. That's dope, man. I really appreciate you, all right? I played sixth grade for my little league team and then seventh and eighth grade for my middle school. And that was some of the funnest times I've ever had playing football. You play ball too? There you go. Will you ever pick the Chiefs? So what? Will you ever pick the Chiefs? Will I ever pick the Chiefs? You know we beat the Chiefs in that Super Bowl. Go to class, man. You already know, man. Go, go learn, go learn something. I was a wide receiver in the corner. I got the uh, the interception record. Uh in middle school. I don't even know how they kept track of it. They just told me. I don't even know. I didn't see a record book or anything. Just the DP coach at the time told me. Probably one of my favorite. Um, yeah. Ooh. Favorite NFL players? Yes. 
I appreciate that, man. About what? You my, you my guy. God bless you, man. I love being in Tampa. I love the city. I love the community. What's it, man? Everything. All right, Jordan. So do your thing and lead, night. I think I changed my pizza class. You didn't want that work. You would have cooked me? I might come back just because you said that. Mike Evans is so disrespected. Yeah. That we just talked about him a couple weeks ago because he came out and said that he wants to break Jerry Rice's record of consecutive thousand yard receiving yep. seasons. Mm -hmm. So why isn't he on this list? Think about yeah. what he's done. I think it's nine. Is it has it been nine seasons nine in, in a row, row of a yeah. thousand yeah. yards plus? Yeah. He's dynamic. A lot of times when you see a big wide receiver, because we don't move like y'all, it's like ah, it's, it's easy to overlook at Mike Evans. Mm -hmm. But his numbers with all these different quarterbacks throwing the ball. A thousand yeah, he, he yards, nine years in a row? Yeah. Are you kidding me? You're 10. Yep, you're 10. It, has it flown by for you? Does it seem like it's been 10 years? Yeah, like in the moment, it, it seems like it's taken a while, but then you just look up and, you know, you were just a rookie and now you're year 10. So that's how all the vets explain it to me. And that, that's what I'm explaining to the younger players. Like, you're going to look up and it's time is going to have flown by. So try not to take it for granted. I came into the league in a star-studded receiver class. Sammy Watkins went fourth or fifth overall. Odo Beckham was in that class. Brandon Cooks, Devontae Adams. What has differentiated Mike in the long run is that while most of these receivers have had careers that you expect them to have, they have stretches where they're amazing, maybe they have some injury issues, maybe they switch teams. You have Mike who started out strong with the thousand yard season and just has continued to do it year after year after year to the point where you would have to say of all those players of all those receivers in the 2014 draft the one that is clearly a likely hall of famer is mike evans what is it about him that just makes him so difficult to slow down yeah it's that gamesmanship right one of the things i've learned about mike is he's such a gamer he loves to play whatever it is. He's a competitor. And he's got nine years in the NFL, nine 1,000 yard plus receiving seasons. He's going to try to go 10 for 10. Hey, good teams know how to prepare and they find ways to win. Let's find another way to win. Bam, you three, one, two, three. Bam. Yeah. 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 Mike. Yeah. Mike will make you think he's just a deep threat because he's a tall body and he's very deceptive off the line of scrimmage. He has very deceptive speed. I think he's grown the most in being moved around in the offense. I think the interesting thing about the 2023 season for Mike Evans is that he's being used in this offense in a wide variety of ways, being moved around the formation, coming out of the slot a little bit more than usual. Evans again, and they got it. Touchdown, Evans. If you look at his touchdowns, his nine touchdowns, he's scored on a cross, he's scored on an in, he's scored on a post, he's scored on a slant. And of course, he's scored on several go routes because he does that so well. He is well on his way to his 10th consecutive 1,000-yard season. He's got nine touchdown catches, which is the second most he's had in a season through the first 11 games. How in the world did Mike Evans make that catch? It's really been his most productive season since 2019. So it's just vintage Mike Evans playing at the age he is now as if he was five or six years younger. He understands the situations in the red zone. He understands situations in two minutes. He sees leverage. He sees coverage. He's seen it all, and he has an adjustment for whatever they do. I was just laughing, like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, y'all like that spin move? <laughs> it's great to just have a guy like that that makes, you know, pretty normal play calls look fantastic. Look at the touchdown in San Francisco. He faked a fade, which is a classic Mike Evans touchdown, and played off of what he's done his whole career. Mike Evans touchdown. Look at the one in Indianapolis where he was wide open in the back of the end zone. Mayfield puts oh, a man under it wide open. He's Evans. The way he started that route, two defenders went to Payne Durham, and Mike was wide open, and that was because of the way he ran the route. How much you care about this thousand-yard season's record? I care about it a lot. You know, I know my my friends and family care about it. My fans care about it. You know, it's hard to get that. That thousand-yard plateau is what you know all receivers you know try to get. 
it's hard to crown people while they're still playing. But everybody needs to enjoy this while it lasts because to see him do this in his prime is outstanding. So you should learn to take it all in. You've been fighting it since you walked out of that draft room. Yo, I've been super blessed. <laughs> but, you know, after that, I put in a lot of work. Putting a lot of work. It's crunch time for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, they've been struggling. There's no doubt. They've lost six of seven games, but they're in it still. They're a game back, and everything they want is still there. They've been in games. They've played well, but to win this division, to get back to playing the kind of football they want, Baker Mayfield has to play better. He's had an interception in three straight games. He can't turn the ball over as much. And the thing that will get them that solid game We'll be getting the ball to Mike Evans. Because when I talked to Mike at practice, he said, I'm kind of interested in cementing my place in NFL history, and he's already started to do that. Hey, one we'll play at a time, all right? Whatever we got to do to get this debut, man. For real. Let's do it. Man, no, three, one, two, three. Man. What's up, Bryce? Well, I appreciate you, too. I, mean, I just love how Todd Bowles said he's got more drive and passion than a lot of the younger guys, despite all the success that he's had. Second possession for the Buccaneers. Mayfield to throw. Evans. If I'm a quarterback and I'm sitting back there, I'm going to go down the field and allow him to go make plays. Bigger. Hurry, hurry. A third down. Mayfield to throw. Mayfield looking to the near side for Evans. He's got it. And Evans is knocked out of bounds inside the 10. Uh, the best part of my game, I'm a chain mover. You know, I get a lot of first downs uh, and big plays. Great inside release by Mike Evans. Watch him lean back out into the corner, and the corner doesn't know what's going to happen. And slip inside. I had no juice. Yeah. Hey, that's a good play, though. Next time, I'm just going across his face, and I'm going to have a touchdown. Heavy on the left side of the offensive line. They go to White, and White lowers his shoulder toward the goal line. And he is... In a pile. Yes, he is in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. One-yard plunge. There's the rain, which is not a shocker. It's coming down, though, right now. You look out there, you can see the nasty clouds, the darkness. Hey, are y'all going to wear gloves? It's coming down a little bit. Are you going to wear gloves? I'm, I'm sure it'll stop a little bit, though. I mean, this ain't terrible, though. It's not terrible. There are wet gloves. There are dry gloves. Mike Evans has taken his gloves off because there's a certain tackiness that the ball has, even when it's wet like this. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. Mike, do you want gloves? Hell no. This is such an important game for this Tampa team. They got Carolina, then Atlanta next week. Hey, the old line, love this. Y'all love this. When I was a kid, I used to love this weather. Now I'm playing receiver. It's hard enough to catch this when it's dry. I looked at 13. I looked at Mike Evans up top and allow him to try and go make a play. Mayfield lets it go. He's got Evans, and Evans has got a first down. That's a big boy catch right there. That's as hard as you can hit somebody in today's NFL and catching it. Wet hands. Tough, bro. But he threw it to a perfect spot, you know what I mean? If I had to outstretch, I would not have been able to catch that. Yeah. Mayfield, he's got Evans open. It's up for grabs, and it is intercepted. That ball came out not smooth from Baker Mayfield. Yeah, no. Baker could get no grip on that ball. You see him looking at his hands right now. Hey, my bad, Baker. Bro, I thought, I don't know how he got the ball, though. Like, I, I tried to, slipped out. I saw, it's all right. I tried, I shouldn't have let that happen. That was a good, I should have jumped and got that ball. I just couldn't, I was stuck in the mud. Second and goal from inside the one. They give it to Hubbard again, and Hubbard is toward the goal line. He dives forward. This time he's in. Touchdown, Panthers. And Carolina takes the lead. This would be one of those games that I kind of let loose at halftime. Like, I get after my guys, and I try to get them going, James. 
wake them up and say, hey, let's come out with some urgency and let's show that we really care. Let's be effective and come out here and show that we want to turn this season around. We need something. Yeah, we need a few first downs and then yeah, put a guy together. Our defense needs us, man. Mayfield looking to throw on first down, has Evans into the open field! And Evans has one man to beat! Inside the 10, dives toward the pylon, he's out of bounds! Six foot five, and he did all of that, and his athleticism. That ball is inside the pylon, it's a touchdown. And it's before the hand hits the ground outside the pylon, so that's Superman taking off from the four yard line. After the review, guy. the runner was inside the pylon. Let's go! Every year when you are consistently excellent, every year despite the situations around you, that's what a Hall of Famer yeah. is. I said, Ricky, run! Run, he behind! I was trying, bro. I, I, I was like, run, run, don't get going, don't get going. You were rolling, though. Come on, touch me! Let's go, Edwin. Godwin's going to take it. Godwin's going to get the first down. He slips a tackle inside the five toward the pylon. Touchdown, Buccaneers. 19 yards for Godwin. Ron, hey, we've been working that for 20 weeks straight. Bro. Dog, my icing right there. One stop and another score, it's over. has fallen here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium where the Buccaneers lead at 21 10 with 11 36 to play here in the fourth quarter. It's Hubbard and Hubbard to his right toward the goal line and he's in touchdown Panthers. It's a one yard touchdown run and Carolina has pulled within reach with 502 to play. I gotta, we gotta, get a, get a, I gotta make a nice one. I gotta make it a big one. That's 144 yards now for Mike Evans on the afternoon. He's on the doorstep of another 1,000 yard season. Panthers showing blitz. Mayfield gets rid of it, has Evans, and Evans breaks a tackle. He's over 1,000 yards again. He gets 11 on that. 10 straight years, over 1,000 yards. The game should be stopped right now. Take that ball, send it up to Canton. Let's finish him. And guys, uh, just as we mentioned, they are acknowledging Mike Evans here for his 10th straight 1,000 yard receiving season. He just cracked a smile there for a moment. produced he has had a great attitude he works his butt off he's made himself better he's gotten lighter everything you want to see a guy do as his career progresses that's what he's done give it up hey. for Mike Evans who has just reached the 1,000 yard milestone thank you thank His team fought today. They did. It wasn't always pretty for this Bucks team, but they're a game back. Come up the ball right here. And the first down of the game's over. First down. The huddle. Carolina can stop the clock for four time. They give it to White. And White's got the first down and more. White inside the 30. He's waiting to see where, and he finally does. He stays in bounds. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers win it by a final score of 21 to 18. Mike Evans, his 13th career game with 150 yards or more. He finished with 162. He goes over the 1,000 yard mark for the 10th consecutive season. If you come into this building, you know who Mike Evans is. You know what he has done here. You know the standard that he has set here. And that's the standard that every player and every receiver in particular is gonna be held to. For the Buccaneers, having Mike Setting that standard, having players see that and come in here and try to follow it is very important.
told us that this team was too good to be 4-7 and seven coming into this game, that you had to win this game for confidence and in the standings. How were you all able to rise to the occasion? Everybody just kept battling to the end. I mean, they, placed, they had some really good players on their side of the ball. The weather was an issue for both teams. But He's a Hall of Famer! It means a lot. You know, I put my blood, sweat, and tears in this. Um, I'm just trying to lead by example. And uh, I've had a lot of great teammates along the way. I hope I can just keep doing it. I can't say enough about him, you know, just seeing him day in and day out, the type of person he is and the type of player he is, is not a mistake. He works like that in practice, he works like that in the ball game, and, you know, that's why he's, he's succeeded for so long. We got two game balls to give out. First one, the guy got 60 catches for 10 years in a row. Woo yards for 10 years in a row. Keep working, man. I keep winning. Way to battle, man. Like I say, I always say, whatever it takes to win, man. I gotta be pretty. Let's go. Let's keep going. We got a lot of games left. Let's go. Fam, you're three, one, two, three. Bam!